Hey guys, it's Jackie. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I post videos related to dance, beauty, personal growth, and small YouTuber need to knows. Today's video is a contemporary dance tutorial. I choreographed this piece entitled Brave for my students and I'm so excited to share it with you guys today. It is a beginner to intermediate level piece. Um, a few months ago, I posted a video of me improv dancing. The video is called My On The Spot Contemporary Improv Dance. I'll go ahead and link it to the video up above so that you guys can check it out if you would like to. Well, needless to say, that video inspired me to create the one that I'm showing you today. I hope that you guys enjoy it, and if you are ready for us to get started, then just keep on watching. Hey guys, I am so glad that you stopped by to watch this video. Go ahead and find a comfy spot on the floor where you are able to move. The piece is going to start with count one. Your arms are going straight to your head. One, open up on two. Bring that right leg in, down three, up four. Then you're going to snake your head to the floor on five, six, hold seven, eight. You will begin kicking your right leg on count, oh, here comes Mrs. DeSosa. She teaches art at my school. She is phenomenal. She's making her little debut in my video. So we're going to go ahead and kick on one, two. Lead with the tush as you come up. Three, four. Lift your right leg and open it up to the side. On five, six. Now you're going to go ahead and roll towards your left shoulder and you're going to stand up tall. Let's go ahead and go through that one more time. I will make sure to mirror this video once I start the movement standing up. So we start with our hands on our head. One, open up on two. Down, lift that right leg up on four. Snake your head down to the floor, five, six, hold seven, eight. Kick, one, two. Sit up, three, four. Lift that right leg up, five, six. Tuck and roll towards that left shoulder, seven, eight. So I went ahead and mirrored this video as promised. So we are standing up. On count eight, we're gonna put our right hand over our heart and we're going to just kind of lean over. Now we're going to bring our hands from our heart into third position, which is what I'm showing you now. We will be doing a sutunu turn. Your hands are gonna go over your mouth and you're gonna open up into second position, okay, with those feet, okay? Make sure those heels are facing each other. Let's try that one more time. So we are in third, we do a sutunu, open up into second, and your hands are gonna go over your mouth and open up to the side. From there, I want you to shoot your right arm all the way up to the ceiling, we'll bring your right knee to your chest, and then stand up again. So the next step that we're gonna be doing is called a fan kick. You're going to transfer your body's weight to your left leg, and you're going to be fan kicking your right leg in front of your face, and make sure to keep those legs pointed and turned out. You can keep your arms down by your side. From there, you are going to bring that right leg to your back ankle, your left leg's ankle. It's called a back coupe turn. Be sure that you are squaring off your hips and keeping your weight on that supporting leg so that you don't fall out of your turn. From there, you're going to be sliding down into a straddle split. Bring those legs behind you and you're going to lift up and push up into this scorpion position. At least that's what I call it. All right, so let's just go over some of these counts. You're going to bring your knee up to your chest on count seven, eight. Fan kick, one, two, coupe turn, three, four, drop down, five, six, close your legs on seven, eight. Scorpion on one, two, down, three, four. Tuck that left arm underneath your chest on five, six, and you're gonna push up and grab the air on seven, eight. Watch what I do here. You're leading with your hips going straight up to the ceiling. So being that I'm now facing the back of the room again, I went and reversed the whole mirror thing. It's back to the original format. You are going to use your left hand to support you on the floor and shoot your right arm all the way up to the sky, grab that air and bring it down. Okay, all the way up, grab the air, bring it down. Next, you're going to use those tummy muscles, okay? Keep your core really strong, and with your fingertips, lift yourself up. 
I'm going to go ahead and use this time to go over some of the lyrics. You can be amazing. You can turn a phrase in to a weapon or a drug. You can be an outcast or the backlash of somebody's lack of love. You're rolling on love. Just reminding you that your hand is on your heart when you stand up. Or you can start speaking up. Nothing's going to hurt you the way that words do when they settle neath your skin. Okay, drop all the way down. Kept on the inside and no sunlight. That's when your hands shoot up. Sometimes a shadow wins. Hold. But I wonder what would happen. You have a full four count to stand up, but I wonder what would happen if you... We are mirrored again. Make sure you are dragging that right arm on the floor until you stand up. It's just the little details that we want to make sure we pay attention to. You guys are doing a fantastic job so far. The next thing that we're going to do is a PK turn, another PK turn into a hip thrust. It looks something like this. On your right leg, you're going to PK turn. The second one is a PK hip thrust. You're going to face back with your arms in fifth position. You are going to tondu or point your right leg and do an illusion, which is what you just saw me do. I believe I'm going to redo it one more time for you guys. You're going to keep your weight on the ball of your foot, okay? Heel off the ground and fouette your leg from one side to the other. Let's look at this again. I'm pointing my right leg, illusioning down to the floor. I'm tucking my left leg and rolling onto my knees, okay? We have made it to the end of the dance, and I'm just going to go over the lyrics with you for this last section. We just did the illusion down to the floor, and now we are on our knees. So the lyrics to this part of the dance says, I want to see you be brave. I'm going to go ahead now and break down the movement for you so you can understand. You're going to look to your left and move your arms on I wanna. Now you're just going to move your head on see you. And then you put your arms out on B and move your head on brave. Let's do that again. I wanna see you be brave. Okay, take your time on that head roll. Let's stand up and go back from the PK section. This part of the song says, say what you want to say and let the words fall. You do your illusion on out. Honestly, I wanna see you be brave. And that's it, we made it to the end of the piece. Let's go ahead and try it with the music. Thank you so much. That is the end of the piece. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Uh, due to YouTube copyright laws, I'm probably not going to be able to play the entire song in the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and post it on my Instagram. I will post my Instagram account right here so that you guys know where to follow me. Go ahead and check it out on Instagram and I would love for you to do the dance yourself and then send a video of yourself doing it to me. I'd love to see it. Thank you as always, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye.